Hello friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the light triggering and the temperature triggering. Okay, so first of all, let's discuss the fourth method of the triggering that is the light triggering. Light triggering. This is the special method of triggering, right? Which is generally used in LASCR that is a light activated silicon controlled rectifier okay so recall we are having the SCR structure it is a PN PN structure P N minus P and N here it is a anode of the SCR cathode of the SCR yes SCR is forward bias mode. This is VS junctions are J1, J2, J3. Right? We are not having any problem with junctions J1 and J3, but we are having problem with junction J2 because junction J2 is in a reverse bias mode. Okay. Yes, so here we are not having problem with junction J1, J3 because they are in forward bias mode, right? We are having problem with junction J2 because its depletion layer width is increasing, okay? So, in the light triggering method, okay, specifically designed SCRs are used, okay? In the specifically designed SCRs, yes, at the inner P type layer, here generally the recess is provided, okay? R E C E W -S, S, the recess is provided. What is the, what is the purpose behind this recess? Generally, we strike a beam of light, okay? So, when a beam of light strikes at this recess, okay? So, here what we are doing? We are striking a beam of light, okay? Striking or strike the beam of light. Beam of light, okay? So, when a beam of light strikes at this recess, okay? So, what will happen? Yes, the whatever the char additional charge carriers are present, that is the positive charges, okay? These charges will be generated in the inner P type layer, okay? So, when a beam of light strikes at the recess, there will be the production of, right? Or the generation of additional charge carriers into the inner P type layer, okay? So, here in the inner P type layer, we will be getting the more number of positive charge carriers, generation of the more number of positive charge carriers, okay? And due to that, positive charge carrier generation right these positive charge carriers will be recombining with the negative charge carriers which are present at the p side of the junction j2 are you getting the point means due to the beam of light when the beam of light strikes at the inner this recess then in the inner p type layer yes we will be having the generation of additional charge carriers okay and due to these additional charge carriers in the p type layer right that is a positive charges right so due to that these charges will be recombining with the negative charges which are present at the depletion layer okay across junction j2 okay so ultimately when these negative charges will be recombining with the additional charge carriers whether it will help in reducing the width of the depletion layer across junction j2 yes okay so this is nothing but the light triggering this is nothing but the light triggering next we are going to discuss the temperature triggering next one is the temperature triggering as in the light triggering the effect of light is considered okay in the temperature triggering we need to consider or we are going to consider the effect of temperature on materials right or the semiconductor materials okay so temperature triggering temperature triggering yes recall yes there is a pn pn device okay so this is the p type n minus this is p and n okay anode of the str cathode of the SCR and the gate of the SCR, right? Same, here we are in the forward bias. 
okay so rl this is the vs junctions are j1 j2 and j3 okay okay we are not having problem with junction j1 and j3 right but we are having problem with junction j2 because it is in reverse bias mode yes junction j2 okay so in the temperature triggering in the temperature triggering okay generally the what is the effect of temperature on semiconductor material right when the temperature increases there will be the generation of additional charge carriers into the semiconductor materials okay so due to the increase in temperature what will happen in all the four layers due to the increase in the temperature in the all the four layers yes additional charge carriers means here will be the positive charge carriers will be generated here also the positive charge carriers will be generated as well as in the n minus layer will be having the generation of the negative charge carriers generation of the negative charge carriers okay so when the temperature of the device increases there will be the generation of additional charge carriers in the all the four layers okay so strictly speaking we are not having problem with junction j1 j3 but we are having problem with junction j2 only okay so when the positive charge carriers generated here in the inner p type layer this positive and whatever the negative charge carriers are present at the depletion layer across junction j2 it will get recombined and it will get neutralized okay so whether it is helping to reduce the width of the depletion layer across junction j2 yes okay and whether it, whether it is helping in turning on of a scr yes okay so this is nothing but the temperature triggering are you getting the point okay so here the effect of the temperature we need to understand okay when the temperature increases there will be the generation of additional charge carriers in all the four layers okay as when whereas in the light triggering what was the what was the effect of the light when the beam of light was striking at the recess and strictly speaking the recess is provided at the inner p type layer only okay so in both the methods in these both the methods right the effect of light and effect of temperature we have considered okay so this is about the turn on methods of the scr now suppose one more important discussion whether scr is a voltage triggered or current triggered okay so if you check or if you go through or if you recall all the five methods of triggering in the first method what we are doing we are increasing the voltage right in the second method we are circulating the current so according to the first method we can say that it is a voltage triggered according to the second method we can say that it is a current triggered okay and what about the dv by dt we are increasing the voltage okay so here we cannot say that the sr is a voltage triggered or sr is a current triggered but be careful sr is a charge controlled device sr is a charge controlled device are you getting the point sr is neither voltage controlled sr is neither current controlled device but sr is a charge controlled device okay neither voltage nor current but it is a charge controlled device why it is a charge controlled device if you recall all the five methods you will understand what what we are doing in the first method we are increasing the voltage but due to the increase in the voltage what is happening the force on the depletion layer or the width of the depletion layer across junction j2 is increasing why the width is increasing because charges layer is there increasing okay so next in the second method we are circulating the gate current but actually what we are doing we are injecting the charges into the inner p type layer okay so next in the dv by dt triggering what we are doing in the dv by dt triggering we are increasing the rate of change of voltage across the scr due to that what was happening yes with the increase in the rate of change of voltage yes we will be having the increase in the current fourth method light triggering in the light and the temperature triggering actually the additional charge carriers are generating into the scr structure or the scr body are you getting the point so please be careful scr is a neither voltage controlled nor current controlled but it is a charge controlled device it is a charge control device please note it right they have asked the question okay thank you in the next video we are going to discuss the protection of the scr thank you